So Google My Business for advanced tips is what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at nine tips that are going to help you to really progress if you've already got your Google My Business uh, listing already started. You've already made perhaps some all the sensible things. You've filled out all the forms. You've added some posts. You've done the photos. You've checked your nap to make sure your name, address and phone number are all correct. And you've even looked at perhaps some indexing and listings. You've linked through to your website. In fact, you've done everything that you'd expect to do in the basics and even the intermediate stage of things. Well, today we're going to look at what you can do to really advance your Google My Business listing. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses grow, particularly when it comes to local SEO, when it comes to building your business on a local basis. Things like Google My Business will really help you. So using my 20 years of experience as a web designer, I'm trying to bring some things to the table that are going to help you grow your business in the coming weeks and months ahead. So let's look at the fact of we're talking about advance now then, advancing your Google My Business listing. What can you do and what things will we cover today? We're going to see first of all how you can really maximise the effect of your business listing. And so we'll look at some things you can do that are going to help you there. We're also going to look at see how you can beat the competition. So as your competitors are also getting improved and are building up their presence, what can you do to get just one up on them or even to see what they're doing well and to improve on what they've done as well? Then we're going to look at some of the latest techniques when it comes to traffic and building your traffic and your web design traffic and how you can integrate it with your own website as well. And finally, we'll look at some bonuses as well. What happens if you get suspended? What can you do to avoid being suspended? All those things will be covered by today's tutorial. So let's delve straight in to the very first tip that's going to help you grow your Google My Business listing. So at this point, it's just worth saying that this is part of a series of channels that I've produced now for Google My Business. So if you wanted the basics, there's a section for you there. If you want the intermediates, there's a section there. This is now going to be the advanced section, which you'll get some tips from. And finally, you'll see that there's also an expert area, which I'll be moving on to in the next few weeks. So let's just consider that we're looking at the advanced. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe now, because as you then go through this uh, video, you'll not only get tips now, but also as I update this section, then you'll also be able to see the tips there. And you'll notice that they're all color coded as well. So if you want advanced, then you know that you need to go to this particular color. So tip number one, we'll assume that you're already in the local three packs. We'll assume you've made it in some areas, but how can you stay in there? What can you do to make sure that you continue to gain traction, maybe moving up slightly more towards the number one slot? How can you particularly increase your reviews? How can you improve your photos so that it has an impact on what you do? Is it worth geotagging your photos? These are all areas. So thinking about staying and assuming that the local three pack is something you've done and that you can maintain, that'll be the first thing you would do in this advanced section is continue to build and then to continue to solidify the fact that you're in the three pack. The second area I just want to look at is how you can improve your videos. So when you add videos, like when you add photos, can you do anything to the videos that are going to increase its chances of being considered relevant to your business and particularly to your locality? Well, yes, you can. You can add the address information to your video. So we'll see there's a video that will show you how to do that and particularly how to add a 360 degree video. So rather than paying maybe 500 or a thousand pounds, you can do that for free if you download your uh, Street View app. So if you want to know more about that, then this would be the video to watch. And that's my second tip to help you build and advance your Google My Business. So my third tip's all about really reviews. Now I've covered reviews before and you know how to get reviews and you've probably got some reviews already. But do you know the best way to handle bad reviews? Do you know how to get those reviews onto your website itself so that people can see your five star reviews? Uh, do you know how to uh, the fact that you should answer each review and how you can use keywords when you answer the reviews that will help rank your business even higher? Well, we have a video that will help you in that area. 
So my fourth area is the fact of how do you deal with it when things go wrong? So you may get an email from Google saying that due to quality issues, your account is suspended. It's the worst thing you could come across. So how are you going to handle that? Well, in my advanced section, we will be able to see that that is, again, something that's quite common, but there are ways to handle it. Sometimes just knowing what the issues are can be one of the main things. Is it to do with the fact you've got tracking URLs? Have you been redirecting and uh, Google don't like that? Is it a case that there's no physical address or they don't want you to use a PO box? Could it be that you've registered the account before and now Google has picked up on you've registered it twice? It may even just be the fact that your NAP is incorrect, that what you've got as one address is so different to another address that Google sees you under that they're questioning that. Often you'll find that with most of these uh, suspensions, they're not severe, they just need to have action. So knowing what the problems could be will be useful. So that's my fourth tip, is to have a look at that video that will help you to make sure that you've got clarity on where the issues may be. So my fifth advanced area for Google My Business is really just to use posts. But whereas you might have used posts just to update and say, this is what I'm doing today, or this is what my business is uh, talking about today, use posts to actually advertise products. Now, we've got an example here um, of a, a business. So this is an estate agent business. And rather than just saying that we're operating from this address, they're actually going to put out a news post to update their products. So they can actually use it as a way to get more people, more traffic to view a particular, um, say, property that they're advertising. So with estate agents in particular, they can use their website products and they can really get extra traffic to it. And Google likes this as well. So uh, there's a relevancy there that will help you grow your business. But also it's it's a really good trade off with Google because it will also mean that more traffic gets to your products that you're trying to sell. So use products or posts to advertise and use that well and Google will reward you. Now, my sixth area is one that came out just uh, maybe six months ago now. Uh, The Google My Business app, you need to download it because it's an excellent app. But on that app as well, if you've downloaded it, you can then enable um, visitors on on the website to contact you. And that can be via a button of some sort. So it could be that it's a request to a quote. It could be that it's a book a table if you're a restaurant. But unless you have the app on your phone, there's no way of enabling it in the standard desktop version or the map version. So make sure you do that. So again, part of this advanced uh, lesson for Google My Business is to have these, have these little extras on because these are the things that are going to get you above your competitors in the coming months. So my seventh tip for advanced users of Google My Business is to try and make sure that you can spy on your competitors' categories. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's just a case of you may have decided this category suits your business, but you can also add some subcategories that you can be found in. Now, whereas in the past that perhaps was really important, it doesn't seem to hold its weight like it used to. But even so, you can see what your competitors' subcategories are with this video that I've produced. So have a look at it. You can see what the subcategories are and you can see what your competitors are using. And then you can combine the two so that you can appear in more results when it comes to your Google My Business listing. So hopefully that'll be useful. And that's my seventh tip. My eighth tip is just there are several tools you can do to see where do I appear when others are looking at me. So the trouble is, if you just type in your own business, you're going to see yourself because you're in the same GPS area as your location. But what happens if someone, say, 20 miles away searches for my type of business? Will they find me? Am I able to be seen in another county, another town, another village? Well, there's about five different tools you can use that are going to help you see how you're viewed in other parts of the world. So have a look at this video and that one will be really useful if you just want to see how much more you're growing beyond your local three pack. My ninth tip for advanced users is to just be aware of some of the common errors that people make. So as they want to keep growing Google My Business, they perhaps start to look for ways of of perhaps some shortcutting things, uh, trying to be clever. Maybe they've watched videos on YouTube that have suggested to do things that are perhaps gray hat, maybe black hat even. And then suddenly they're wondering why they're going to be suspended. So all I say is just be aware of some of the limitations Google's put out there. 
And by doing so, in this video in particular, looking at the errors that sometimes come up as well, uh, that will help you to avoid being suspended because ultimately you want an honest business that's going to last you for many, many years. And that would be my ninth tip. And finally, as a bonus, um, there seems to be a lot of people at the moment have this issue where they have uh, Google on my Google My Business. They're saying view plan. They click on it. They go through several things. And then it just says for you to unlock quotes, then you need to do this, this and this, like view how I'm seen on a map or something. So I've written an article that answers how to deal with that. And it basically suggests that Google have got an awareness to the fact there's a bit of an issue here. So a lot of people are looking for answers to this. The answer at the moment really is that Google is aware of the issue. So it seems that it's a fault with Google, but I just think it's important to know that rather than perhaps going around in circles at this time. So I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a link to uh, where you can read the article and hopefully that's going to help you too. So as you notice here, we've had nine tips that are going to help you grow your business. And these tips are going to be color coded. So as I release my videos, more and more of these tips will grow. So you're looking, if you want the advanced tips, you're looking for the ones that have got the little yellow tip in the corner. Look out for those. As I release them, then you'll know that they're for the advanced users. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of these advanced tips.